Hi again, let's get to work. This video will instruct you on how to complete the first required programming component, the System Heartbeat. The System Heartbeat is one of two components that establish the communication monitoring protocol between your building automation system and the Express Optimization Controller. The Heartbeat program you create using this video will allow the Express Optimization Controller to determine whether or not the data being received by your BAS is stale. For this program, we recommend using a timer and a Boolean variable named BAS Pulse. Program your heartbeat timer to continuously count to a specified value. We recommend 30 seconds. When the timer counts to the specified time, reset the timer to begin counting again. Toggle the BAS Pulse between a value of true and false each time the timer resets. Once you have the BAS Pulse toggling, link this point from your BAS to the Watchdog Pulse Boolean of the Express Optimization Controller. What exactly does the Express Optimization Controller do with your BAS Pulse? Well, when the Express Optimization Controller detects that your pulse has stopped toggling for any reason, it will hold optimization and your BAS program needs to execute the bumpless transfer sequence into the standard sequence of operation. Don't worry more on how to program that component later in the bumpless transfer programming video. We should note the speed in which data is transferred between the BAS and the Express Optimization Controller is subject to the number of devices on the network and overall network traffic. As a result, the specified value of the heartbeat timer may need to vary, so it should be user adjustable. For more instruction on this programming component, please refer to the BAS Programming Requirements section of the Integration Guide. And remember, a TechWorks engineer is available by phone to help answer any questions. Thanks again for using TechWorks for one step closer to HVAC plant optimization.